Hey, I'm Ben Morrison. Welcome to Amp Up. Today we're here in San Francisco. We're going to visit the Del Sol String Quartet. They're a cool, modern, cutting edge, avant garde string quartet, but we think the website needs a little help from Amp. So let's go say hello. So tell me a bit about the String Quartet. Well, uh, the Del Sol has been around for about 25 years, and we champion the works of living composers, uh, and the music we play we call craft music. It's a little bit like the whole craft beer, craft food movement nowadays, but this is dedicated towards music. A new project that we're really thrilled about, it's a project on Angel Island, which is an island in the Bay Area where there's an immigration station that was used in the early 20th century. And so this page will be sort of the landing for all of the information about the project, and we really want it to be fast and easy to access and look good and yeah, so that's what you're going to help us with today. So tell me about your site, like what it does for you and how you feel about it today. So it's definitely gotten a bit clunky since we created it about five years ago. So that's a big concern for us is getting that looking as contemporary as we want our music to be. So as you guys rehearse, I'll be hiding in the back over there and taking your mock-up and making a brand new page for you guys using AMP so it loads extra, extra fast and also responsive. So it looks good on every device. Good luck to me. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey guys, why don't we start at the beginning? Okay, all right. Okay, let's take a look at the mock-up that Catherine made for me. So this is pretty simple. Uh, there's a menu, a logo, text, some images, some custom fonts, uh, at the bottom a bunch of video embeds. These social share buttons here are just links. So this is a typical basic web page where everything here could be done with AMP. WordPress is quite useful and flexible. I mean, it's popular for a good reason, but of course CMSs generate sites automatically and sites that are made automatically tend to be much less efficient. So this page uses seven CSS files, not counting the one that YouTube adds. That's 350K of raw CSS. A site that's simple shouldn't need more than 10K, maybe 20. The JavaScript here is not too bad. Most of this comes from YouTube. But still, for a simple site like this, how much JavaScript do you actually need? Let's look at the images next. And there's one single giant image. This is a background image that isn't seen that much, but it's more than a megabyte. So for now, I'll just take this page and rebuild it using app HTML outside of WordPress. So first step, we grab the HTML and copy it into our editor. Again, AMP allows no more than 50K of CSS. They have much, much more in this site, but I'm just betting that style.css, the CSS that comes with the theme, will be all we need. So let's copy the CSS into my editor. And look at that. My character count says it's only about 30K. That's less than 50K. But for good measure, let's erase some of the clearly random looking CSS, like the stuff about emojis, print, and captcha, and so on. Now, let's take out all the JavaScript. Delete, delete, delete. Doesn't that feel good? It's like cleaning out your closet. Now, let's convert the HTML to AMP. First, we add the basic AMP boilerplate, the canonical link, the boilerplate CSS, the AMP JavaScript, and of course the HTML and the lightning bolt. Let's take a look. Our AMP validator extension found a bunch of errors. Some of those errors are inline style tags. And some of those tags are just garbage made by WordPress. The other tags I'll convert into proper CSS classes. Next, let's convert the image tags to AMP image tags. Fortunately, most images here already have width and height. They even have source set to be responsive. Just the logos lack dimensions, and those are easy to find in DevTools. Okay, that's the images. Let's do the videos next. They're all YouTube videos, and it's super easy to change all of those to AMP YouTube. Take out the ID, and those should be done. All right, now the site is mostly ready for AMP. So now we can make it responsive, and we can add the responsive menu. Let's take a look at the mock-up Catherine gave me again. And it's got a breakpoint at 1246 pixels at which the header adjusts, but that's it. The menu ends up off the screen and the text gets really tiny. 
So on our new page, the text no longer gets tiny because we added that meta viewport tag as part of our AMP conversion. Let's look now through the CSS for things that are fixed width because those can't be responsive. Hmm. Yeah, a few things here are fixed widths like 908 pixels. So I'll change pixel widths to percentages. Though in a couple of cases, we'll keep those fixed widths for desktops. Strangely, the theme assumes the device is 908 pixels wide. So I'll put the main break at that point. Okay, I think I've got it. So I made some new media queries here for devices narrower than 908 pixels, for viewports that are larger than that, and left the original jumbo size 1246 pixels for really big devices. We should also compress those images, especially that giant background image. That isn't hard though. The background image I'll just open up and I'll save it as a sort of lower quality JPEG and do a smaller version for phones. Other images we'll just save as smaller versions with fewer pixels. Now, we have to make the site fully responsive and fix up the layout. This will take some doing, which is kind of outside the scope of this video. So we'll just do that. All right, camera's off. All right, that's done. The site is fully responsive and the layout is fixed up. So finally, we have one thing left to do to create a basic mobile menu with a hamburger icon. We'll use AMP sidebar for that. And for the submenus, we'll use AMP accordion to make the items slide down and back up. And that's it. Isn't it beautiful? I have good news. The new page is ready oh. and it's done. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So let's begin by looking at the old page, the old mockup you made over here. The thing is though that number one on a phone, it looked like this. You really couldn't see much of anything. And we want to fix that too. <laughs> And also, if you loaded this up in a real world 3G phone connection, it was kind of like this. It's just blank for a little while and then it turns black and then some text rolls in and then the fire in the background slowly, slowly rolls down and the images begin to appear. It just takes maybe 10, 15 seconds for the page to appear. So the new page over here, it looks similar on desktop, but some things have been cleaned up a little bit and moved around. And we also can see the magic here of a responsive site. If we actually change the size in the simulator, things keep on moving around to match the size of the screen. But two things have changed. One is that on a phone, it now looks like this. So nice. things are bigger. There's your classic hamburger menu over there. You click on this and menu pops down, click on this and it closes. And the elements over here are arranged and they're visible. And the nice thing about this is now it's an amp. So it's now quite fast. Wow. There it is. Nice. That's so much faster. Yeah. People can find your site faster. And also from Google search, it'll load up in about half a second. That's so going to make much faster than yeah, this. Yeah, such a difference with yeah. this project. Well, thanks a lot. It's been a pleasure working with you guys and looking forward to hearing the piece. So that's it. The site still needs some work as sites do, but the new page has been amplified. It's fast, it's responsive, it's gonna do great for the quartet and for their music. See you next time on Amp Up.